So if you spend money, you want to make money. Nice. If you pay for an amazing website, you want to make sure that the money you spent was worth it. Now, there's a couple ways you can measure your website's value. First, your clients live in a digital world. So making yourself accessible there is crucial. <laughs> Did a millennial just say that digital is important? Number two, your website is a great way for your potential clients to get to know who you are. And third, if you have an educational blog up answering people's insurance questions, even better. But aside from those, the biggest way for you to measure your website's value as an insurance agent is lead generation. Your website is basically your number two marketing tool. Is it making you money? Goals is a feature on Google Analytics. Goals helps you track how well your website fulfills your target objective. For most insurance agents, lead generation is the target objective. And quote requests is how you measure it. So I'll show you how to set up a goal measuring the quotes your website receives. A thank you page is a separate URL that a consumer is directed to after they submit a quote. It marks the end of the quote process. After your thank you page is set up, submit a quote and use the URL that appears. Log into your Google Analytics account. Go to the admin tab. On the far right, under all website data, you'll see goals. Click the red add new goal button. Google has pre-made goal templates as well as the option to customize a goal. We'll stick with the find an agent template to make things simple. Name your goal and make sure the destination bubble is filled. This tells Google Analytics your goal will be completed after a visitor visits a specific landing page. You can also create goals based on how long someone has been on your site. It's great for blogs or other time-intensive sites. How many pages someone visited or whether they interacted with an event like a video. Copy and paste that thank you page URL in this box. Make sure you only paste what's after the forward slash. You're telling Google Analytics that the visitors who see this landing page equal a completed goal. If we put the quote page URL here instead of the thank you page URL, it wouldn't accurately represent a completed goal. Why? Because people can visit the quote page without pressing the submit button. Using the thank you page URL ensures that the visitor did hit the submit button. You can assign a value to each completed goal. This works really well for e-commerce stores who sell products with a specific dollar amount, but harder for insurance quotes. My suggestion is to average the amount of money made from a month or two of online quotes and use that figure for your value. Finally, you can set up a funnel, which allows you to create a multi-step goal or a series of micro goals that lead up to your macro goal. Again, think of e-commerce stores. A macro goal would be someone purchasing a product, but choosing your shipping and handling, entering credit card information, and adding it to your shopping cart are all micro goals that result in the macro goal. Let's put this back in terms of an insurance agency's website. Think of the journey your visitor takes when submitting a goal. They go to the quote form page, fill it out, hit submit, and then the thank you page appears. So a micro goal is the quote form page. What about if your quote form was multiple pages? Then each page would be a micro goal. Tracking these micro goals allows you to see where your customers are exiting the funnel and subsequently fix those steps so that people complete the goal. Verify the goal to make sure it works and hit save. And your goal should appear. Awesome, all the hard work is done. Under the Conversions tab, click Goals and Overview. You can also see the goal funnel here. The red signifies someone dropping off and the green signifies completion. So get Google Analytics goals and make sure you're making some money. Okay, can I have that credit card back though?